This is Bavaria, the largest county in Germany and a place that's famous for beer and beer. But farming is also a very important part of its local economy. And these days, environmental stewardship is a little more important than food production. In the heart of Bavaria, the county government has built this nonprofit center called Carmen, the coordinating office for renewable raw materials. Here, rapeseed, what we know as canola, wood pellets, silage, and other renewables are the focus of dozens of projects, all designed to make biomass the future energy of choice. We would like to spread this knowledge and this knowledge about these technologies all over Bavaria, Germany, and so on. Scientists work with Carmen and area farmers developing products like foam mattresses and plastic containers from vegetable oil. It will be useful to have plastic which can rot in the nature, not like polyethylene, polyesters can rot and this will help us with our waste problem and uh, we will be more independent from oil imports. While scientists and educators do their part to research and promote renewable resources, farmers across Germany and into Austria are not only growing energy crops, but also producing energy every day. And our idea was to try and find ways of using our crops for alternative uses and alternative sources of energy was very popular at the time, so we began investigating that. Josef Huckner and three of his neighbors each raise hogs and cattle and grow corn, sorghum, and sunflowers in Upper Austria. But together, they own a one-year-old biogas plant. So we already had an interest in renewable energy sources, and when it was being encouraged by the EU through subsidies and grant help, we looked at it as an alternative way of running our farm. Each of the four farmers use more than 200 acres of their land to produce silage for the biogas plant. The plant runs 24-7, fermenting silage and livestock manure together to produce methane gas, generating motors that run two turbines to produce electricity. And the system is then set up to feed the main gas fermenter with three tons every two hours from the main hopper. So all we have to do is fill it up once during the day and the system then runs itself. This noisy engine runs 24 hours a day and supplies enough electricity to power a town of 5,000 people. All of this off of just 500 acres of farmland. Two years ago when we started building, uh, I think that perhaps 80% of the people who drove past had no idea what it, what it was. But in the meantime, biogas has become very popular and fairly common in Austria. And now I think that um, most of the people understand what's going on here. As the popularity of renewable energy grows, Josef and his neighbors say they will build another biogas plant and continue to contribute to the renewable energy revolution. This is Aaron White reporting.